Hello, my name is Ascetical Portal, and today I'm going to teach you how to make tools in Roblox Studio. So it's relatively simple, actually. Uh, it's a lot less intimidating than it looks. But pretty much, we have, I have made this asset right here, and it is, as you can see, it is named Tool. You usually want to keep it that way, but you can usually, I could rename this to Torch if I wanted to. But what I wanted to do today was uh, show you guys how you can actually make one yourself. So, for example, let's talk about this, for example. There's a part inside of the torch called the handle. The handle is the part that your character will be holding. It gives it extra properties, right? And this is the part that the character will be holding. So if I go into play game, so essentially my character picks it up and the character holds the torch and that's pretty cool, right? So if I go back into studio mode, let's start creating one from scratch, right? Um, anyways, I have my... Uh, stud count on 0.25 probably want to change that to something bigger because we're dealing with like low detail here so i'm going to change it to 0.1 it was 0 0.025 uh, so i'm going to make this new so i'm going to start off by making kind of the the stick or kind of the staff that the actual flame sits on uh, so for right now i'm just going to do this, create this, and you can watch. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn on collisions. So what this does is it essentially allows the parts to go into each other, not be able to go into each other. Join surfaces, as you can see, see this white little thing right here that appears? That is connecting the part. So, as I did that, it created a weld constraint. And what weld constraints do is they allow the parts to be connected to each other, but at the same time, they're both not, uh, they're not anchored. So they're still connected to each other, but they're not anchored. So they're not confined to being unbreakable, but they can still move within the space. So for example, if I go into play, because these are anchored right here, so if I lift this up, as you see, when I go into play mode, they're not going to break apart from each other, right? Because they still both have that anchor feature. Well, sorry, not the anchor feature, the welding feature. Anyways, when we go back to creating this, uh, it's important that when we create this, all of the parts are connected to each other. So we don't want any of the parts to not be connected, right? So it's really, like I said, it's really important to do that kind of stuff. Um, so if we really want this to look like a torch, it's not going to look exactly like that one. But uh, say if we want this to look like a torch, uh, maybe we want to change uh, its color. So I'm going to make this kind of a yellow color because, you know, fire. Uh, I'm going to make this neon, uh, maybe a little bit darker. Uh, it doesn't really matter as long as it works. Uh, I'm going to make this metal, I guess, and gray. You can really create whatever you want, but, you know, for this tutorial, I'm creating something simple. Um, point light that'll give the part some light so whatever field of view we go um, there'll always be this kind of light um, and you can kind of see it right here I'm gonna give it an orange light because you know fire um, and uh, I want to give it another special part this is gonna be the part that emits the actual fire particle so if I insert a fire right here right um, Oh yeah, and by the way, depending on like the axis, it might be going, sorry, give me a sec. If it's like this way, 
uh, it might be like the fire might be going in uh, the Z axis or a different axis, so make sure it's facing up because, you know, fire doesn't really do that in real life. Um, so it's welded, so uh, I'm going to change the size of the fire. I'm going to make it to one because, you know, that would be a pretty big fire. Uh, and I'm going to make this uh, transparent because it looks like there's nothing on top of it. So it's just kind of a invisible part the player won't be seeing. As you can see, the anchor is not on, but if I run the game, it shouldn't fall apart. Yeah, so it worked. Um, I'm not going to worry too much about the texture, but what I will do is I will show you uh, something that happens. Um, so there's this update recently that changed the textures. So if you go down to material service, um, use 2022 materials, that's by default checked. But if you want to change it back to the uh, old materials, uh, they look different. So that's what you might have noticed. So now I'm going to make the most important part of uh, a tool is the handle. So you, like I said, the handle always needs to be named handle um, or it won't work. Uh, it's a specifically recognized uh, key word uh, in Roblox for something special. So uh, it's going to be very basic, but um, I'm going to make that transparent because the player won't be seeing that part. I'm going to name it to handle and always have it uppercase. So, um, so now we have to group this together, but not in a model, right? We want this to be in a tool. So if we go to the workspace, there's a special thing called tool. So if I search up tool, there it is right here. Uh, there it is, there it is. Um, so if I drag all of this and if I drag all of that into tool, we can now have this tool right there. Um, and um, so here's the most important part. If if it is in the workspace like this, it's not going to spawn in your inventory. The way to make it spawn in your inventory is a thing called starter pack. Now, the starter pack is kind of the backpack that your player is given. So if we go into run mode, I might be able to show you it. Um, yeah, see these three dots right here? Um, You'll have the leaderboards, you'll have the emotes, and then you'll have the inventory. And the inventory is everything that your player holds. So essentially, what the starter pack does is uh, it allows for items to be stored within uh, your uh, inventory. And what it does is it copies every starter pack to every starter player, so every single player in the game gets the same item. With code you can change this, but that's the very simplistic rule. What we're going to do now is I'm going to drag this tool right here. I'm going to take this, I'm going to copy and paste it because it's better than just dragging, and I'm going to put it in starter pack. Not starter player, starter pack. Starter player will uh, really take care of that for you. Um, so I'm going to put it in the starter pack, right? And what should happen is when I play the game, it should be in my inventory. So as, as you see, it says tool, right? I can hold the torch. Um, so you may be wondering now, like, okay, so how do I change its name? So it's really simple. All you have to do is rename this asset right here. Um, so I'm going to name it Torch. And uh, by the way, um, if you want to change it and have like an image, you can upload an image uh, file from your computer. Um, so that's how you add an image right there. Um, so I'm going to play the game again, and it should be renamed Torch. So yeah, uh, we fixed that. Uh, this is pretty good. 
Um, and make sure the uh, the orientation uh, of the part isn't like this or anything. Uh, because if it is, uh, I'm sorry, I gotta turn this off. Uh, because if it is sideways like this, um, you'll be holding the torch sideways, or you'll be holding part sideways. So, with the handle, you don't really want to me mess with it because then, or the orientation, because that makes uh, the parts a lot more difficult to really get right. And then you gotta reset all of the uh, angle to it so you're not holding it sideways and make sure you're not holding it upside down. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty simple. Um, and it, like I said, it can literally, you can literally just have your part, like, be, uh, super simple. Like, I could just insert another, uh, tool, right? And I could literally, yeah, I could literally put this in there and name it handle and, hold on. And, you know, change its size, do whatever with it. Um, that's actually what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to change it to 3 by 3 by 3 So it's like a cube now. But, uh, so if I play here. Uh, I can still pick it up. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. And like I said. Uh, if you want it to be in your inventory, just, you know, drag it all the way down to the starter pack. So, yeah, that's about it for this video. Um, I hope it was useful. If you have any questions, just comment down below. Uh, I'm always here, uh, and there's more to come. So, uh, have a nice day, folks, and uh, see you in the next video.